if you are looking to get good at flipping houses, to make that money in the house flipping game, right? All them people out there flipping houses, man. Property Brothers, uh, Tarek and Christina, I don't know, that dude and his wife. They're always doing, like, the country fresh stuff. Tim and Jeanette, Jeanette and Tim. What the hell? People like that chick. She's got, like, a, a cookbook. Anyway, people flip a lot of houses. It's big. It's popular. Actually, uh, the producers of one of those uh, type shows actually reached out to my company a couple years ago. They tried to get us to start a house flipping show. They wanted us to be on it. We turned it down, actually. It was a $500,000 contract, which people are like, wait, what? You turned out a $500,000 contract to be on TV? Are you nuts? Little known fact, if you uh, actually read through those contracts, they are crazy. It was five hundred grand uh, for a 10-year contract, but those are like not NBA kind of contracts, right? If we're comparing it to sports, like NBA, it's all guaranteed money. Uh, it's more like an NFL contract where, like, you could possibly get five hundred grand if everything goes your way, but it probably won't. Uh, and the thing is, you're still tied up for, like, ten years. So, like, in reality, very possible you get a very small amount of money, and then you wouldn't even be able to do things like have Holton Wise TV that we could own ourselves on YouTube uh, for ten years. They would own the rights to everything. So it was not a good deal. Uh, but anywho, the moral of the story, folks, is I know what I'm talking about flipping houses and you're trying to flip houses, and I'm here trying to help a client of mine. My client wants to flip this house, but he needs an expert to run the numbers to know if the deal's going to be good or not. And uh, that's what I'm going to do, so let's check it out. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. James Wise here. Today, today we are looking at this house for my client, Mark. He's far away. He lives in Minneapolis, Minnesota. This house is in Cleveland Heights, Ohio. He wants to know if this is going to be a good flip, right? And I happen to know how to flip houses. I've sold $200 million worth of real estate in this market, so I know a thing or two. Now, folks. About to give out some info here. What y'all need to know is you could flip houses where you live or you could flip houses in my market with me, right? Like Mark is doing. I'll actually perform the flip for you. My company, we can actually do all the boots on the ground stuff for you. But it starts here with the information, the advice to even know if it's a good deal. Now, this information, this advice that I'm going to hand out to you, you could use it in any market you want, right? You could get... Uh, Good insight and strategies, do flips on your own wherever you live or partner with me and my team like Mark did, flip houses in Northeast Ohio. Now, when we're doing stuff like this in Northeast Ohio, we do it through this show and I pull all the data up on my MLS feed, right? Because I'm a broker. Now, if you're going to do it on your own, you can't work with me because I can't really help you flip houses specifically in Idaho or something like that, but you're still going to need that data. Don't worry. I got the data for you, though, right? Right here, prop stream. I'm going to give it to you for free, okay? You're going to get MLS-like data, data like this that we need to utilize to run numbers on properties, right? Data like this to find distressed, motivated sellers. Data like this is key to actually successfully flipping houses, right? So if you want that in a market other than Cleveland, check out prop stream. You get yourself a free trial because you click the link on this video, right? It's under the video. And then after that, if you want to continue using their services forever, you get a lifetime discount because you're a Holton Wise TV viewer. Now, on to the man of the hour, my man Mark. Is this deal going to be good? 3180 White Thorn Road, Cleveland Heights, Ohio, 44118. Priced at 110000 Spent on the market 91 days. $67 a square foot, folks. $67 a square foot. How could you lose if you could buy a home in a highly densely populated area for $67 a square foot? Well, you could lose if the house is in the middle of the ghetto. That's for sure. Is this house in the middle of the ghetto? No. It's a pretty nice neighborhood. Matter of fact, our ARV comps in this area, we're looking at about two hundred k, right? So they're asking 110. We're looking at comps of about 200k. So from the rip, it looks like it could potentially be good. Is it going to be good though? Nope. Nah, this one's a dud, dog. Uh, I talked to a listing agent, right? This is Cleveland Heights. 
they require a point of sale inspection, okay? Uh, so the city goes in, they issue violations that you have to correct, right? I have more info on the point of sale process in depth if you're interested in knowing about it in the Cleveland market, folks. That's below uh, the video in the notes, right around the link to get to that prop stream free trial. Y'all don't forget about that. Y'all need that freaking data. But anywho, so you got to put up money in escrow. And you got to do a big old rehab uh, or the seller has to do it before they're selling. This seller not not doing anything, so you'd have to assume the POS, bunch of violations. Uh, talk to the agent. The agent knows the seller ain't going to play ball to actually uh, do something appropriate to get the, the deal done, right? Uh, he didn't even send me the report. He's just like, dude, it's a hundred grand. So you got a hundred thousand dollar point of sale inspection report. In addition to that, uh, the, there's a tenant in there who ha is so far in arrears. Uh, they haven't paid rent in, in like two years. So there's $25,000 of back due rent and a $100,000 point of sale that you'd have to put up in escrow. And then you'd have to use a different 100000 and then you get that 100000 back, right? So all told, you're actually going to need 225000 up front, right? But in reality, it's you get it back. So it's only 125 k So we have 125 k of costs. Now, point of sale doesn't often include like getting it totally uh, like flip ready, right? And I don't have any other pictures, but guess what, bro? We got a tenant who has said, fuck you to paying rent for two years. And the seller's just trying to sell it without actually evicting the tenant, which I don't even know why he's not evicting the tenant. It's kind of crazy, bro. We don't have like uh, eviction moratoriums going on anymore. Like this is not California. Like this is Ohio. Like we're allowed to evict motherfuckers. So why this guy's not evicting this motherfucker, I have no idea. But he's not. Doesn't sound that smart. Uh, that's probably why the listing agent is more or less giving up on this listing. He's just like, ah, pfft. like he's just got it listed and the seller ain't playing ball. It happens, right? Uh, so what I'm trying to say is like we would literally need to get the seller to accept like 25k for his hundred ten thousand dollar listing, and it don't look like that's happening. So no, nah, dog, uh, we ain't even close to a deal here. This one's a dud. Move on. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.